Can I tell you a story? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, it was Keith Richards' birthday. We were in um, Vancouver, and uh, they rented out like a you know like an entire floor or something of of the of the Four Seasons. We're in this great big suite. This party's going on. Like I'm a huge Rolling Stones. Yeah, I just think they're like the paragon of all things cool. And so the whole tr tour, I'm just like walking around. <laughs> and um, I'm at this party, and I, 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 I met them all at this point, you know, and Ron Wood <laughs> comes up to me, and, 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 and I gotta say, um, to set the scene, Ron is wearing a, um, like, a yellow plastic, like, Gordon's Fisherman, like, rain hat thing. <laughs> You know, like a, like a bad weather yeah. hat, you know, that sailors wear. Um, and, um, and, he's, and he's like this tall. You know, they're all like little fucking fidgets. They were, <laughs> they're, they're, they're born like, they grew up in, in, in England during like rationing. So they're all like fucking <laughs> malnourished, like little dudes. I, I mean, if, if, if they had shown up, if they had shown up and been like seven, six, all of them, I wouldn't have been surprised. Like, I expected them all to be, like, this tall. And, um, and like, just, you know, whatever. Like, cracking walnuts with their eyeballs. Or, I don't know what that I expected. I just thought they'd be, like, these magic, huge, mythical creatures with horns coming out of their foreheads. And, um, but they're all, <laughs> they're all, like, this tall. And so Ron comes up to me, and Ron's like, comes up, he's like, the sign goes up to me. He goes, Chris, mate, he puts his arm around me, right? But it's like this, you know, mate, Chris. How you going? And I'm just like, ah, uh, great, man. You know, uh, just been enjoying this so much, and and you guys just sound fantastic. And he goes, oh, you've seen the band? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. I mean, you're the fucking Rolling Stones, bro. Um, I'm, you know, we've been on the road with them for a couple weeks, you know. So I was like, yeah. Every every night, you know, that we haven't had to drive, I've just stayed and watched you guys, and I've seen you guys like ten times on this tour. He goes, you've seen the band ten times? And I'm like, yeah. And, he's, and, he, and Keith Richards standing behind him goes, Keith, Keith. And Keith's talking to like some supermodel or something. Yeah? And Ron goes, Chris, you've seen the band ten times? And Keith goes, you've seen the band ten times? Yeah. And he's like, wow. And then he goes back to his conversation. And then like, Ronnie's still got his arm around him, right? He's like, Chris, Mike, have you had a chat with Mick? And I'm like, well, I met Mick, but I haven't had a, like a chat with him, you know, a chat per se. And he's like, well, you must come have a chat with Mick. And he takes me over to Mick, and he's like, Mick, this is Chris, from the Spin Doctors. And Mick goes, yeah, I know. And I'm just like. Mick <laughs> Jagger knows who I am. And, um, so when time started moving again, um, <laughs> Ronnie, goes, Ronnie goes, Chris, you've seen the band ten times. And Mick goes, you've seen the band ten times. <laughs> um, but, you know, it means so much to be gracious. You just can't underestimate the power of grace. Um, you know, later on on that tour, I looked up to these guys so much. It meant so much to me just to be around them. And at one point, um, I was in, in this room called the Tuning Room, right? Which is, I never saw anybody tune anything but a vodka and orange. There was like a million dollars worth of guitars and amps back there, but they were mostly just tuning vodka and orange. And um, I must have been really comfortable, you know? They must have made me feel really at home because I'm just sitting on the floor and I'm um, talking to to Keith, and um, I would talk about Muddy Waters and, you know, Chuck Berry and just music and stuff. And, and I go, um, you guys are just having a really good time. And he goes, why else would you do it, man? And I'm like, I don't know, millions and millions of dollars. Probably. He goes, you know, and you can play with a guy like, Charlie Watts, I mean, you know. And I was just like, in that moment, you know, I was 27 years old and I just had this overwhelming uh, compulsion to like testify to this guy. He's the fucking 
hope of rock and roll, you know? Sitting on the floor, looking at his tower and roll, even though he's like four foot. <laughs> oh, um, all I can think of to say is like, I want to do this for the rest of my life. And he like holds forth his hand, pump of rock and roll. He goes, you will, man. You will. <laughs> uh, so I got that going for me. 